I hope nobody else got to him first. Sinnoh based, uh, based on plat. I was gonna, I was gonna do the trade, and then I was gonna type later dork and run off, and then I was gonna come back and give him his Pokemon. But I want, I wanted the reaction of later dork and run off. Anyway, um, is this loud? Is the game audio too loud, or is this okay? He was going to try and bait swap you. He saw you drop a Bidoof and didn't want it. Yeah, that's why I gave him a fucking do Bidoof. Game audio is good? Okay, okay, thanks. Did you ever get around to making a new team? Because I'm still on the old one. Wait, what are you talking about, Andrew? It's called Sk Infinity. And it's being animated by Studio Bones. Same people did Full Metal Alchemist and My Hero. Didn't Bones fall off? Or no, Bones is still doing My Hero. Um, there was a studio that used to do good shit and then fell off really hard. Who did Hunter Hunter 2011? That was Bones too, wasn't it? Madhouse. Madhouse did One Punch Season 1, right? Madhouse did One Punch Man Season 1 and then fell off the face of the earth. Like, they still did anime, they were just bad. What's the other one that catches a lot of shit? Uh, Pyridot? Pyriot? Pyridot? Everyone did Bleach. Can I go back to hiding chat? There we go. I don't know where I was getting the D from. Hey, what up, Sip? I just got banned for an hour on MMO. Did you fuck up your login too many times? Being I saw you talking about that earlier. Give me a one hour ban fucking with the login, that's tough. Period should not be given anime, they always jam a ton of filler. Well they did they did Naruto, they did Bleach. But then like then they sucked after Shippuden ended or something. Yeah, conduit. I fell off of uh I fell off of uh, Pokemon at Gen 3 when I was young, so I never bought a DS or 3 Well, I got a 3DS way, way late in the game, but I, I never bought a DS, right? And Gen 4 emulators, especially when I started emulating games, were just a lot, lot harder to run by. Like, working Gen 4 emulators. When I did get a Gen 4 emulator, I tried to get Heart Gold and Soul Silver working, and it didn't work very well. We got Butcher Tokyo Ghoul. Okay.
Like clover filler sucks. Well, don't they sprinkle like filler into at least in the beginning, like the first season? Isn't there like a lot of filler in every black clover episode? Okay. Enough of the anime weeb talk. Let's get down to cool stuff. Pokemon. Chat, y'all know the drill. I'm gonna start the. Actually, what, what, what are we doing when we left off? I gotta remember where I'm going. Uh, I'm going to the Psyduck. I'm going to the Psyduck. I actually bought a few of those. I actually bought a few of those uh, Ocarinas. So I have. I think I can like fly and stuff. I don't actually need Bidoof anymore. Um. Where were the rich kids at? Were they just left at Pastora? We just left the store. I can go south of Hardhome. What am I doing? I'm looking for my ocarinas. Where do my ocarinas stay at? I have a cut ocarina, a dive ocarina, and a fly ocarina. And a rock smash and a strength ocarina. Uh, hello? Oh, that's dive. I don't know what Pokemon it used, but there we go. Now, let me make sure. Okay. They were a one time use, so I was going to be pissed. I don't have the HM Surf yet, but when I get it, I can use it. Okay, chat. Y'all know the drill. I need Pokemon stuff spammed. I need Pokemon emotes spammed. Alright. What's going on, everybody? It's Thundershot. Welcome back to more Poke MMO. Today, we are still in Sentinel. For the love of God, today, we're getting an Infernape. Uh, I'm starting off... Here and I don't want to pull up the town map, but we're fighting the rich people. Fighting the rich folk again. Oh, you can't redouble battle them though. That's kind of shitty. We're fighting the rich folk again because they pay well, so I'm just here to do the rematch. Uh, let's not dick around. Let's just air slash. This guy actually over levels me a lot. If he has an ice type move, I'm kind of screwed. Unless we get flinch hacks. As long as he doesn't one shot me here. Ooh, a crit. Alright, we're good. We're good, lucky us. Ooh, Togekiss got level. And we'll get paid mad money. Uh, I'm actually going to do the other fight. That was almost three grand. I'm actually going to do this other fight with Monferno, both because I want to level him up and because Monferno is holding an amulet coin. Uh, off stream, I bought some ocarinas. Ocarinas are things you can use, you could spend real money in the game. And then you get these Ocarinas, which are uh, HM replacements. So I actually don't even need Bidoof in my party anymore. I can use an Ocarina to use uh, basically any HM I want. I didn't pick up the Surf Ocarina because I feel like in most instances... I'm going to be fine. I feel like in most instances, uh, I'll probably have a Pokemon that has Surf on them, even if it's not in this specific region. You still need the gym badges for them to work right, but yeah, you can just buy the HM ocarinas for everything, and then you don't actually have to have HM slaves or Pokemon that no HMs on your team. Even with the amulet coin, I still only got 2700 from her. Either way, that's a bunch of cash. I just went up over five grand in cash. So, uh, I believe this time, here, I'll show you how they work. Pop the fly ocarina, use it, and I think we're going north of... Yeah, I think we're going up here. And then we're going to hit this town next. Is the plan, I'm pretty sure. God, that animation is really cool. So, I'm going to head to the Mart. We need to load up on potions and stuff. I was running low on potions last time. I have a fair bit of money now. I wouldn't say plenty of money. I have a fair bit of money now. And we are waiting until we get to an ice cave before the 7th gym, where we'll pick up a Sneasel and we'll turn it into a Weevil. And we'll continue with Operation. Have a team that doesn't have a single water move on it.
Yeah, that's why I don't want to bother with the Surf Locker in it, because I feel like, in most cases, I'll have... Amulet Coin has to be activated, not just a held item. Oh, really? Have I been using it wrong this whole time? Is it like a Lucky Egg, where, like, you consume it? And then it just works for an hour? Did they do that? I wouldn't be shocked if they did that. Hold items. Uh, where the fuck is this coin? Oh, did I use it? I might have used it just now. Okay, so if I'm, it might actually work the same way as a lucky coin. Um, or a, as a lucky egg. But the amulet coin, if it does work the same way. A lucky egg uh, in this game doesn't work like it does in normal Pokemon games. In normal Pokemon games, you get a lucky egg. A Pokemon holds it, and they get double experience. Or like time and half experience, something same. Uh, I passed it up? What do you mean? Did I lose it? It's in the boost item. Oh, okay. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, amulet coin. Time only consumed while online. Price 100, sell price 50. An item which increases the amount of money gained from trainer battles for a short period of time. Yeah, so it doesn't work the way I had it. I had a useless item on Monferno the whole time, which is fine, because what else am I going to put on on charcoal? Anyway, uh, so instead of putting it on a Pokemon and then using that Pokemon as the lead and just getting time and a half money forever with that Pokemon as your lead... Same thing as a lucky egg. You actually use the item and consumes it, and then for an hour you get a money gain bonus. And this is to make sure that trainers don't just get one lucky egg or one amulet coin and abuse it over four entire regions. You know what I mean? It makes sense. All right, let's load up here. Uh, mm, can't buy that many. That's all my money. All right, let's tone that down. Let's do six more of those, just in case. Let's see if we can nab... Uh, a couple more Hyper Potions. And a couple more Full Heals if they're on sale. I don't think I'm going to get them. No, I'll buy Full Heals somewhere else, but... More or less everything we're looking for here. Yeah, keep a fair bit of money, just in case. Just in case of an emergency. Oh, you could buy this with uh, in-game money. I didn't know that. Yeah, so anyways, those ocarinas I bought, I had to spend real money on those. But I put so much time in this MMO, not just in this session, but in um, my first time playing this on stream, which it didn't get uploaded to YouTube, which is okay. We're going to redo Kanto anyway. Uh, but it's fine. It doesn't bother me to give them. I think I ended up giving them like 20, 25 bucks, something like that. But that's just in case I need to buy stuff in future regions too. I might need to go back and buy more ocarinas. Uh, I still have a lot of leftover money, so... all good uh i will try to rebattle the twins actually double battles seem kind of nice right now a double battle seems kind of nice right now i'm trying to get in front of blow it up and all that how do i download this just google pokemon mo you'll need all the roms which you can find in the sub discord if you bug anger about it but yeah if you google pokemon mo um They're going to have everything you need right there, except the ROMs. you got to provide the ROMs yourself. Everything else is, uh... Everything else is all you. Or all them. Okay, let's just... Well, Fairy's going to be normal, right? Fairy doesn't exist in this game. I'll mock punch. Eh, I'm probably better off. We'll just flame wheel. Just level 30. We're going to tag team Clefairy. I should tag team Pikachu, but it's whatever. Okay. That's better than Thunder Shocking Togekiss, probably. Or Thunder Bolting Togekiss. Could have been bad. Monferno, I can still get priority with mock punch. We'll mock punch you, and we'll, uh, let's, ancient power. Why the hell not? Well, air slash would have been better for flinch, but whatever. Oh, this Pikachu's a bitch. How you doing, Conduit? Alright, we're good.
Oh, is this cheesable? I'm gonna go heal up at the center, but I wonder if I can come back or just get the paralysis off me at the center. I wonder if I can come back and get two double battles out of them. Is there a competitive scene in this? Yes. Yes, there's absolutely a major competitive. They run tournaments every month, I think, too. Um, but yeah, because you see all the people still playing. Not like most people here are not on their first run through. They might have made a second character or something, but usually you play the game. No, I think it went away. Damn. I thought I might get both. It's all right. But yeah, after you get all the regions, what's left to do other than make a competitive team? You know, um, they specifically make breeding your Pokemon to like what you would want incredibly hard. Because if you breed a Pokemon, you can guarantee that certain IVs get passed down from your Pokemon to the next Pokemon. And you can guarantee that certain abilities get passed down. And you can guarantee that an ability gets passed down from one Pokemon to the next Pokemon. So you can make all that shit work out. Certain moves, you can guarantee certain moves come over. It's really cool. But in exchange, you lose both the parents. A, it usually costs a lot of money to do all that. But B, you lose both the parents. You got to make sure you do it right, and you have to be ready to give up give up the parents. And they do that so people can't just sit there and infinite breed until they have what they need. But it's, it's, they got a really good system for all this. Psyduck are standing firm. They aren't inclined to move. Would you like to use a secret potion? Yes. Psyduck appear to be cured of their chronic headache. I think it going to be a horde battle, is it? Okay. Gotta hear you, stupid, dumb animals. That's so brutal, but a nice way to balance it. Yeah, I don't think the parents die or anything. It's not like something awful. I think the daycare person just keeps them in exchange. Oh, good. You used the secret potion I gave you. Psyduck are known to suffer from chronic headaches, but no one's been able to figure out what triggers the headaches. Oh, yeah. Can I ask you a big favor? I want you to deliver this old charm to my grandma in Celestic Town. I know there's some rare Pokemon between here and Celestic Town, so it'll be worth your while to go. Sure. Old charm. How many badges do you have? I'm sitting at a solid... I think we had our fifth badge last stream. My grandma has a sort of bossy atmosphere about her. I think I recognize her right away. Yeah, I'm sure you will. She's the elder of Celestic Town. And the location, uh, look on your town map. You can't miss it. All right, I'm counting on you. See you again down the road. She not? I, I refuse to believe she doesn't have a Pokemon that can fly. All right, trainer's hidden in the bushes, kind of. Yeah, Bean Daddy, essentially. And you can buy a Pokemon with high IVs, too. Depending on the kind of money you got. Uh, Dittos for IV go for a very high price. I got a, I got a Ditto with, like, a perfect defense IV or something like that. And I tried to sell it for a million dollars on my first account. And I don't think it's sold, but if I would have lowered the price, like, $200,000, I still could have sold it for, like, eight hundred grand. It's a bit of a misty area up ahead. Uh, I think I should bust back out Zubat for Defog. Is that what you're hitting at right now? We are so close to this Infernape. I can almost taste it. It would be extremely easy for me to sit here and just farm Rosalia until we get 36. But I'm gonna battle these trainers. I'm a little bummed that I was so dumb I had fucking Inferno holding an amulet coin this whole time, not thinking about that. I'm one of the Ninja Trio. Being discovered means I must battle. Ninja Boy Fabian. Then out this bitch that I hope has dry skin. Because he will die. I don't think he kills me. Nope, that's Sticky Barb. Oh, wait, did he kill me? Alright, we're good. Oh, wait, why did Sticky Barb hurt him? That feels a little backwards. Ooh, 
but yes, I would love to replace a move with a close combat. Get rid of Haunt. No, I can't activate it. I just don't want to activate it right now. I think I'm going to save it. Sinnoh having like four fire types is really annoying. Yeah, I'm glad I'm getting Sinnoh out of the way early. I'm also glad I really like Infernape. This is my first time playing Sinnoh, so it's not like I've... Oh, I've played with Infernape every time. You know, I've never actually done that before. Not in Sinnoh, at least. The keyboard attaches itself every time you hit or get hit. Okay, so I hit him, and it attached it to me. And then he hit me, and it hurt him and attached it back to him. We finally have a fucking Infernape, dude. I'm so happy. What's next? Uh, I'm still on the hunt for... I need another Heart Scale or two. If I get another Heart Scale or two, I get... I'll be able to get Aurora Sphere on... Ooh, a Scyther! What level's he? She? I might try to catch Scyther just for later on. I would love to run a Scyther one of these times. Oh, that's gonna hurt. The boulder will not be tolerating any tomfoolery. This fucking bitch. From Scyther. Uh, uh, let's just throw balls at it. It might be too high to just throw balls at it. Look at hard scales. I'm trying to do... I'm going to try to do this legit. I'm going to try to find my own hard scales. Now, if there are areas where hard scales are and they're hidden and you just want to tell me where they're at... I don't think I'm complaining. Fuck! Hey, what up, D-Horn? How was work? D-Horn, you missed it. We were talking mad anime weep shit earlier. And, uh... There were some Dororo people in here. Some Dororo advocates. I might just look up a Sinnoh heart scale guide. That might be the wave. Alright, good try, Bidoof. Wow, that really didn't do shit. Glad Mock Punch is somehow still landing, though. Farm Love Disc. Love Disc have a 20% chance to be holding hard skills. Can I even get to Love Disc where I'm at right now? I just want to see if there's places I can fly to right now that would be like a two-minute walk and then I'd, you know, be able to pick one up and then fly somewhere else pick up another one. Because I only need three heart scales for the thing. Fucking... Oh, wait. I know T-Wave, don't I? Fuck yeah, I do. Now his goose is cooked. Alright, I didn't think I'd be stuck on a Scyther this long, but now he's cooked. Kondo, you're gonna have to define main town to me. You have to like do a little bit of explaining on what exactly main town means. All right, how are we looking? Mm, decent attack IV for a Scyther. Could be worse. 
Ability Swarm powers up bug type moves in a pinch. I think I want to use a Scyther No Scissor somewhere down the line. It sounds like an anime title, but I don't mean it like that. Head Chief Mac, thank you for the one motherfucking year. Thank you for the prime. Isn't Sc Scissor strictly? He is. He is. There's really no way around it. Scissor's just the better Pokemon. Uh, with Scyther, Scyther is a lot faster, and his attack stat is a little bit higher. Uh, Scissor is a lot slower, but all of his defenses are infinitely better. There are specific strategies where Scyther would be a better Mon to use than Scissor, but you're probably going to find a lot better Pokemon to use than Scyther in those instances. Does that thing work the same here? Do they redo spawn mapping? Uh, I'm going to have to do explain what you mean a little bit there, Bean. Yeah, Bullet Punch versus Scyther learns Extreme Speed. If anything, Steel types a hindrance, though, over, over normal. Love Disc is only in the water next to the Pokemon League in Sinnoh, apparently. Yeah, I didn't think I'd have access to him. Uh, let me just... I'm going to battle these other trainers, and then I'm just going to look up Pokemon Heart Scale Guide Sinnoh and see if I get, like, hopefully a map will show. This game's been out long enough. Hopefully a map just shows up that points out where the heart scales are. And I, there should be some that I, there should be a lot that I've walked by because they're in invisible spots and things like that. I should just be able to fly to and then grab. Scyther doesn't get extreme speed? Oh, that's awful. That's just truly... Truly fucking horrifying. Played Platinum a lot in the first area. I've always been able to go through a specific spot in grass, and at most one encounter, usually none, and it worked in MMO. Oh, you mean like walk specific paths? Because I know I know in Gen 1, in specifically Red and Blue, I don't know if they fixed it in Fire Red, Leaf Green, but there are a lot of piles in Gen 1 and in, uh, not Elix Forest. Elix Forest is Gen 2, right? What fucking for what's the fucking forest? I'm drawing such a blank. Oh, I'm so lost. What's the name of the fucking forest? Viridian. Viridian Forest. Thank you. Um, in Viridian Forest, there's a bunch of tiles in red and blue that you legitimately can't encounter Pokemon on. Or if you can, the uh, it's like 5% or less encounter rate. I'm only using Ancient Power because I want to see the boost. In case you guys don't know, Ancient Power... I think I've explained this before. Ancient Power has a 5% chance to boost every single stat. Fuck. Yeah, Ancient Power's got a 5% chance to boost every single stat on your Pokemon. And these fries are so fucking salty. Just knock it off. I've never been one to complain about fries being too salty because I'm a fat shit, but... Uh... Let's think about Wendy's fries, McDonald's fries, on that. The fries are over too salty. Just fucking smack that shit against the side a couple times. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Serene Grace doubles ancient power too. So it's ten percent instead of five. That is disgusting. You bitch. Oh, he's a higher level than me, and he's also a bitch for using toxic. Are you fucking me? What are, what are the odds? Zero? If I have a full restore, I think I'm going to use a full restore just because I want Togekiss to get the experience for this fight. How much poison damage we're looking at here? Yeah, let 
me just see. I don't have a full restore. Okay, I guess I'm going to air slash one time and then switch out. Oh, never mind. Don't need it. And your boy Bruce. I concede defeat. First turn toxic. This man's running a comp team. Yeah, he had one stunky. I'm not sure he's running a comp team, but he is a bitch. All right. Poke, MMO, heart, scale, location. Uh, guy used to farm. Love discs in Evergrande City. In 199 attempts, he got 23 heart scales. It's an 11% chance, 12% chance of getting a heart scale. Uh, I just want the locations, man. I don't want fucking love discs. How do I get 14 heart scales a day in five minutes? This is in 2016. If you eat in restaurants in Koniki City, Mali City, and Seafolk Village and order their last meal option once a day, the island's respective kahuna will join you for your meal, pay for yours completely, and give you a heart skill for free. Olivia gives you four, Nano gives you eight, and Hapu gives you two. Even real stuff. Oh, this is, this isn't a fucking, this is a whole different thing. That's not even Pokemon Mo. I've been baited. Heart scale, Pokemon Mo, heart scale. Let's try Sinnoh. That's Sun and Moon. Yeah, I was like, why, why haven't I heard of any of this shit? I just want to map to their locations. I found a video for it. I don't want to farm them with love discs. I literally just want to know where they're sitting on at the ground. I want to know if there's any place where they're just sitting on the ground that I can just go grab them. But apparently Hoenn is the way for hard scales, which is, sucks because that's the last region I'm going to be going to. Now, I found a video. That's what it is. Okay. Uh, can Ahmad give uh, Kondo with the permit? He can just link it. Is it for the MMO or is it specifically for Sinnoh? Because if it's specifically for Sinnoh, it's pretty hefty odds that they just switched it up. Hey Freight, shut the fuck up. Alright, Kondo, you're good. It's just Sinnoh. I mean, I'll test it out, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to catch the big shaft. I'm pretty sure I already have the video. The one by the King Burger. Yep. Shut up. Okay. That's a construction area where I definitely already found a hard scale at. Ooh, wait, new location. All right, let's get to work, boys. Uh, where is this town? And is it this one? Or maybe this one. It is this one. Okay. Fuck. Fuck. According to this here guide. Should be able to find a young heart scale. Right. Fucking! Sorry, I got an accent on that one. That was weird.
Should be finding me one of them there heart scales. Right them there fucking... Woo! Alright. Maybe they did keep it true to form. Okay, 214, diamond pearl only. I'm pretty sure we're running off the plat rom, so this one doesn't matter. Stupid diamond pearl only heart scale. Route 222. I don't know if I've been here yet. Mm, that area looks new. I don't think I've been there. Route 223. Okay, he's definitely in spots that I haven't been to yet. Right, he's currently running on the ocean. Alright, every every other hard scale in this game is beyond where I'm allowed to go, so we have all the hard scales we possibly can. Clear to Frey. Uh, what am I doing here? How many hard scales do I even have? Two! Oh, I'm one short. I'm one short of a fucking Aurora Sphere. I'm so upset. Whatever. Alright, where to next video game? I'm gonna head north. Grab an extra one. I'm trying not to take stuff from subs. What have I taken from subs so far this game? I took money early on. And I switched Togepi for a Togepi that had Serene Grace, right? Other than that, I don't really think I've taken hardly anything from subs. We talked about the Magnemite. And then I'm going that route. I'm trying to be as legit as possible for some reason. I don't even know why. Trying to be as legit as possible. But the money just saved me from grinding, right? Why is he faster than me? That'd be crazy. Uh, he had to move Bide and Endure. I guess counter works just as well. Hopefully, the next area will be one of these spots that has, like, a beach area. Hopefully, one of the next area I go to will be one of the areas with this stuff in it. Because if I look here... Actually, I don't need to do that. My town map is on F3. If I look here, it was routes... Not these fucking routes. Uh, it wasn't until Route 222. I don't think I can go this way yet. I think I need Surf. So I gotta get through all this. What are, what are you? Hello. Iron Island, huh? I gotta get through all this, and then over here. There's a heart scale here. There's a heart scale here. If you grind money, you can also buy a heart scale. Hmm. Hmm. Ooh, fighting guy. Togekiss should beat his ass. I could use the hidden move Defog. I could clear up the fog so I can see. How does Defog work? Don't bird and bug Pokemon flap their wings to blow the fog away? Defog's not an HM, is it? It is. I could do Defog over Sweet Kiss, because I haven't used Sweet Kiss even once. I could do Defog over Sweet Kiss right now. Excuse me. I am the hype! Didn't realize my sub was up my bad. Hey, Jay Lang, take it three months. Appreciate you. Or... I could save it and just fly back and drop Bidoof off for Zubat. I think I might just do that. So what I have? I have the Rock Smash, the Strength Ocarina, the Fly, Dive, and Cut. Uh, I might, I, I'll buy the Flash one if I need to, but I don't think I need to buy the Defog, because you don't even use Defog in every region. I should have the cut ocarina too, if I don't already. Let's just drop off the doof 
And let's just grab Zubat, our defogging flying Zubat. And then we'll move. I feel like I'm always playing this game at nighttime. I know that the day cycles like relatively quickly, but or quicker than regular daytime at least, but I feel like 90% of the time I got this game on, it's nighttime out. Got a Gyarados with 29 attack IVs, not bad. Yeah, if you ever catch, like sometimes it's good to just go out and just catch a random Pokemon. Ditto were the best, but sometimes like literally any random po literally any random Pokemon will work. If you get a random Pokemon with uh 31 in any IV, essentially, it's going to be worth something. It'll be worth something on the trade market just because it has a 31 IV and they can use it for breeding, whatever. I caught a 31 defense IV thing earlier that I I might be saving for my own breeding, but like if I wanted to, I could easily sell it off. Yeah, you'd think Zubat wouldn't be able to fly people around, but, you know, stuff. Oh, good God, that nighttime fog. Something fierce, this stuff. Too bad. The fog! Thanks. I just startled you. You were struggling to recover. I'll be ready in the, in the winter? Is that what he said? This bitch gonna talk to me, frame one. Man, if I had Aurora Sphere, I would have one-shot him with Aurora Sphere. This motherfucker ran Quick Claw. Toxic. I'm actually furious. Let's see if Ancient Power kicks in, just for shits and giggles. Oh, thank God, Super Fang missed. Ten percent, come on! Damn, I have not rolled this stat boost even once. It's been ten percent the whole time, I've never once rolled it. Air Slash should one-shot? Yeah. Octazook is a move, but it's only on those octopus Pokemon, right? right that kid was a dickhead. Alright, let's go to the medicine. I'm just gonna use an antidote and some my only super potion. And we're just gonna rock Togekiss like that. I don't wanna run all the way back to the center again. Thanks, Cricketune. Ocarina. There's really no item back here. This whole area is pointless. Alright. Oh, that poor bastard's running a fucking Gibble. Oh, he doesn't know the woes. He doesn't know the woes of how fucking awful Gibble is. As an ace trainer, I have to take battles in stride. I need to stay cool whether I win or lose. One of these days is going to kick in at the clutchest moment. It's tough because Air Slash is almost always a better option. And if Air Slash is a bad option, I'm usually better off switching out of Togekiss into something else. So the situations in a truly competitive battle where I would even want to use Ancient Power are so slim. Oh, you're fast. I mean, that's no good. I've been red carded. Uh, this thing is psychic. Uh, that's bad. Let's get it out of here. Oh, it's psychic normal, isn't it? Yeah, let's just get it out of here. Let's just not fuck around and just get it out of here. Grodel! 
you doing here, Grotal? I need a flamethrower really, really badly. Or even fire punch. Oh, shit. Uh, we're dead. This is what being dead looks like. Oh, we're not dead. Wow, I thought that would do a lot more. Gonna kick in, like, the power of anime. Well, just the boost to everything. In reality, you only get... I mean, you get both your defenses boost, which is nice. And you get a speed boost. And then, yeah, I guess that is a lot. Your defense is buffed. Your speed is buffed. You're probably gonna outspeed whatever you're up against. Uh, and then your air slash is gonna do more damage. Earth Power always looks more powerful than his. Well, Earth Power is special, isn't it? That's why that was bad, right? Because Grodel's a physical attacker. I would love to use a Torterra in one of these regions. Oh, yeah! Maybe we should do it for Kanto, right? Maybe we should run Kanto. I wanted to do a whole... Oh, we'll do it for Kanto. I wanted to do a, a starter region. Where I did a region, and I literally just used a starter for every single every single one. I would have to save Kanto for last if I did that. That would be hype as fuck, though. Kanto starter squad. Okay, so hear me out. I would pick... Because there's four regions, right? I would pick a fire starter from one region, a water starter from a different region, and a grass starter from a third region. And then, Pikachu, which I would evolve into Raichu, but still, Pikachu's a starter. And Eevee, which I would probably make into an Espeon for Kanto, right? And then I would have a six slot for anything I wanted and or maybe another starter of my choosing, hard to say. Maybe, ah, we could run that for Kanto, that'd be tight. I would have to, the thing is, I would have to go to every other region first, is the only kicker. Or I would have to have some of you guys fish me up some stuff. And by fish me up some stuff, I mean find me some starters with good uh, TMs, HMs, whatnot. What's going on here? Hello? Jen, watch this. I'm going to use everything you've taught me. Infernape and Mudkip? I don't think I'll use Infernape because I'm using Infernape here. Oh, fuck! Uh, this is what the kids call bad. Wow, I could not think of a worse two combination to be out there right now. Um, get him, Zubat. <laughs> Those were not the two Pokemon I was hoping to see. You bitch. Alright, well, that happened. I saved Infernape, I guess. Well, now y'all are gonna get it. Now y'all are gonna get it! Oh, the boulder can't magnitude because he will absolutely murder Jolteon's face off. All right, let's probably one-shot that Gyarados. Snivy sucks. Snivy sucks ass. What are all Gen 5 starters again? Shit, am I, is my starter going to be Embor? I think my starter might have to be Embor. My fire starter, I mean. What the fuck, you bitch?! So here's the thing, there's four regions, and I need a starter from three of them. We're gonna have to go back to heal up after this. Unless I'm almost the next town. I might almost be the next town. That fight sucked balls. So here's the thing, I'm thinking my water, if I'm, because I'm trying to go as competitive as possible. I have to use Swampert as the water starter. I have to use Swampert as the water starter. Then again, I think I'm going to use Swampert when I do the Hoenn region. Maybe I'll use Trico for the Hoenn region. Maybe we'll maybe we'll Trico the Hoenn region. And then I'll save Swampert for the Kanto starter run. Um
So... Oh yeah, I wouldn't want to use Torterra and Swamper, would I? What the fuck? Oh, he was using Rock Climb. That scared the shit out of me. I could. I could use Swampert and Torterra. What's the double ground weakness going to do? What's it really going to do? Right? It makes Torterra... Does it even make him quad weak to ice? Is that, is that the issue? No, that's not how that works. What is what is the what does the ground weakness even do in a situation where it's attached to a grass Pokemon and a water type Pokemon? What's the real disadvantage there? Okay, that's another double trainer battle. Uh oh, fuck this dude. He's looking whichever way I, I gotta go back and heal up. Son of a bitch. He is quad weak to ice. Okay, so I couldn't if I use those two, I couldn't use Charizard. Which means I would probably be better off using Tepig. Tepig Ambor. Because I'd have a mad ice weakness if I used Torterra and Charizard. See, part of me is like I want to use the best starters possible if we end up doing this. Well, it hit him neutral, though. It hit him neutral, it hit Swampert neutral. Ice, I would not have anything that would want to switch into a heavy ice move. Like a mad hard ice beam. I wouldn't have anything I would want to switch into that. Is the point. Even, Sw even Swamper doesn't want to come in and take an ice hit. I really i have never liked Empoleon. My problem is that I'm torn right now. Because there's a few different things going on. I'm torn between, do I want to just use the best possible starters, even if it means reusing a starter we've already seen? I really would rather not reuse a starter I've already used. You know what I mean? Um, so I would like to use starters I haven't used before. But then also, ones that I prefer, I do not prefer an Empoleon. And ones that do not suck. There's not a double battle? I thought I'd be double battle. This bitch electric type. Ooh, we might be looking at a boulder sweep here. Hold up. Oh, you fuckhead! Alright, now I have to magnitude you. Why does this son of a bitch have ice fang? Hey, you're dead. Bye-bye! Ooh, vape juice. Tough. I think I only recover from Shell Bell when I actually hit another Pokemon. Alright, surely Scyther cannot hurt me. As we can see, he's getting the fuck out of here. Oh, fuck. This team was designed to fuck Golem. This team was designed for you to switch into a Golem and for Golem to get shit on for it. This is the whole beginning and end of this, the whole point of this team. I had a Luxray first that I would switch into, so he would switch out into a Scyther. Which would bait me into using Rollout, so Scyther could you turn out into fucking this piece of shit. Which I'm surprised hasn't Earth powered me or something to death. Are you alive? Ooh, we living! The boulder! Does it again! I actually need to train up boulder. He's only level 32. Oh fuck, Scyther's still alive. Shit. Completely forgot about that one. That was my fault. Uh, Togekiss, actually. I thought I won the fight so the poison wouldn't check. I forgot Scyther was still kicking out here. Wow, I should have Thunder Waved him. That hurts a lot. That hurts a lot, a lot. 
I'm under leveled for this section, though. I guess it makes sense. I'm also battling ace trainers. For some reason. That's a trainer kid guarding an item. 90% chance it's a trainer kid guarding an item right now. A ninja can use all kinds of skills, like this and that. Torterra, Imbor, Blastoise? No, that sounds awful. I really, really want Swampert. Like, I can't stress to you how much, how how clutch having a fucking Swampert is. A thing that learns Surf, Ice Beam, and Earthquake, but Stab? Along with just having ground water type coverage so electric moves don't mean shit? Literally not touchable. Now, if I wanted to double down on fire and not do the emerald region next, I don't know. Would I go straight to Unova? That'd be weird. Um, I could do Blaziken for my emerald playthrough. This bitch is not guarding an item. What a weirdo. Okay. Hello! Gengar is here to play! Did I? I didn't get the TM Shadow Ball last time, right? Oh, Gengar just got unleashed. Gang Gengar just came online, boys! Whew. I didn't already have a Shadow Ball TM, surely. I would be extremely upset to find out that I had one. No. Fuck! Oh, wait, no, that's the one I just found. Whew, never mind. <laughs> Psych. Actually, let me look up, uh, he might learn the move on his own in, like, two levels. So, just to make sure that that's not the case, and I can hang on to this TM. Uh, let me check on that real quick. He learns Shadow Ball at 48, which is, like, 10 levels from now. And, frankly, I don't feel like waiting. It's time. It's time. Gengar, who was, up until recently, has been carrying the fucking team on his goddamn shoulders. Even recently, he's still been doing great. Is just now coming online. Which means I don't need Hypnosis anymore, either. I can drop Hypnosis for something else if I want to. Yeah, Gengar's officially here to play. Fuck. Oh, wait, no, this isn't fuck. This is good. He knows Psychic. You can buy TMs. Yeah, there's shops where, like, every TM's available, and you can purchase an infinite number of them as long as you have the money. Yeah, I ain't waiting until level 48 to get Shadow Ball. Fuck you. We ninjas appear where you least expect us. I saw you. From on top of the bridge. Oh yeah, Giga Drain for the grass coverage. You're right. You're exactly right. This is perfect. Shit. Wow. All right. Uh, man. You win some, you lose some. Uh, Emperor Nuke, don't talk like that. Twitch will ban you. It was probably. Probably a Twitch staffer running around named that, and uh, they don't like being called that. That wouldn't make sense. They named themselves. How you doing, Emperor? Whoop. A goal bat? What am I supposed to do with a goal bat? My team is low, but man, I don't want to run back to town again.
Oh, good. Jolteon was the perfect switch here. Now die! I'm done for. Which we can have? I didn't realize this, but apparently, up until the other day, you could type the full-blown inward with the R in chat, and it wouldn't be auto capped Like, Twitch wouldn't automatically shut it down. A mod, like, you would have to wait for a mod to come hit it. But it's because people were like, yeah, okay, we're banning the word simp, which is cool, I guess, but what about the N-word? And Twitch is like, ah, fuck. They got us on that one. He's gonna know a dark type move, right? Noctowl learns dark type moves. I just tried it. Okay, well, first of all, sit. Don't. Wow, I've never seen Extra Sentry do damage before. I'm fairly sure A's are still fine. Sucker Punch. Uh, Sucker Punch will be a very solid placeholder until we learn Giga Drain. The thing is, is Gengar is going to outspeed almost everything ever. But having the priority is going to be nice. Also, there's no reason to have a Dark type move, a Psychic type move, and a uh, Ghost type move on the same Pokemon because if, as long as you have two of them, it basically covers everything. As long as you have two, you basically get everything covered. That's a waterfall surf mumbo jumbo. That's an old man looking at me. Very well, I've decided. I'll battle one last time with you, and then I'm retiring. I'm f pretty sure ghosts cannot hit fighting. Or no, ghosts can hit fighting. Ghosts can't hit normal. I think. I think, I think, I think. Let's test out that brand new shiny Shadow Ball move. That stab Shadow Ball chance to lower special defense. One shot this bitch ass Ponyta from the old man. Whew. Good to be the king. Good to be Booberry. I'm so glad we went with the uh, Gengar this run. Did you know you're not allowed to name your starter Sobble in past Pokemon games? I wonder what that's about. That seems interesting. What's the third gym? Is the third gym the ghost gym? Hey, we're here. I can heal up and go battle or go back and check out those other joints. Probably going to have to get to a point relatively soonish where I got to stop and grind up a bit, but we don't have to do that right now. Except for if I find a good place to grind up for this bitch, Togekiss. Okay. Actually, probably did everything I was supposed to do. Probably battled everyone I came across, so. Yeah, we're fine. What kind of town is this? Howdy, studying up on local history? No, dog, what the fuck? Ooh, alright, Palkia Dialga, some weird galactic dude guarding the thing. There's no Pokemart in this town. Instead, you can buy and sell items in this house here. Ghosts can hit fighting, but fighting can't hit ghosts. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds right. Alright, regular stuff. Actually, do you have full heals? Do you have any of the good shit? Mm, I'll buy more antidotes. Just cuz. What do you need, Sonny? Oh, hey, fuck. Exchange? If I give him six berry powder and two heal powder, he'll give me a full heal? What kind of weird shit? I can buy, I can get my PP up over here? Man, get away from me, dude. Are they still updating this game or are they done? They still update this game. 
Um, it was about a year ago they released Sinnoh, but they still do. You can follow their Twitter. They still show their like monthly contests and stuff. I don't know what they're doing next because they could maybe try to add Johto, but Johto is heavily tied in with Kanto, which already exists. Putting on a pair of glasses changes how the world looks. Taking off a pair of glasses changes how uh, the world looks too. Deep, man. Would you like to change how the world looks to your Pokemon? Ooh, the wise glasses. I only knew about the black glasses. Boost the power of special. Th oh, okay. That's pretty good. I can put that on Jolteon. Add Johto, then an X and Y. Well, for X and Y, they'd have to go to the, the newer models. They'd have to go to 3D models, which I don't think is happening with this game. Another area to battle up on trainers. I go everywhere with my Noctowl. We're going to show you we're the best. That's the thing is, like, they can add Johto, but how do you rightfully add Johto without also adding the Kanto stuff that goes along with it, you know? Your model would have to change from 2D to 3D as you went into the X and Y region. I'm not saying they're not working on it. I'm just saying if they never came out with it, I'd be okay. Right, let's just hex this dude. Yeah, I didn't even get a flinch. He just got paras every time. That's type. Cut out the part of after you beat Johto. Yeah, I mean, Johto's relatively small that way. And then they'd add Mount Silver, which might already exist in this game. I forget. I don't think it does. I'm strong. I'm strong. I'm strong. Am I really? No, I am strong. I'm strong. Okay, I'm all good to go. Ah, you startled me. I think you'll understand what I was doing when you see this TM. Ooh, that might be good on Infernape, right? Let me explain how that move works without getting too technical. Let's say your opponent has raised its defenses using Harden. Your Pokemon can use Psych Up to get the same boost as its foe. Basically, your Pokemon gets the same status boost as its target. Oh, okay, never mind. That's not what I thought it was. That is actually bad. Fuck! I was, uh... Trying to put someone more fitting in the front, because I'm pretty sure this guy's going to have... I thought rock types, so this is something. Oh, yeah, when they put Johto in, they, would, they wouldn't put Gen 2, they would put Heart Gold, Soul Silver in. Which, you already have the Heart Gold, Soul Silver ROM in the game, so it's like... I don't know. I don't think they have a list of what they're working on, necessarily. Uh, what do I use to fight this guy with? He's gonna know Levitate. Boulder won't be able to hit him. Uh, let's just zap him with Jolteon, I guess. In a few years, maybe, but I'm not counting on anything. Oh, yeah, that's another good point. Everything that they do has to be able to work on PC, Mac, and mobile. And by mobile, I mean Android. I don't think it works on iPhone. But it has to update across the board when they update it. Okay, I'm doing what we're calling not fucking with this. This is, this is where the Weavile would come in handy. I have nobody who wants to come in and just eat a psychic anything. This fucking loser. Nobody on my whole team wants to come in and just eat a psychic anything. He lived the fucking flame Ah, oh, I need a new fire move so bad. Okay. Any turn now when I snap out of confusion, these guys are cooked. Also, sucks I get zero experience from these guys. They're fucking bronzors. 
Four turn confusion. Love it here. I only hit myself once though. Could be worse. This is not real life. Oh, good. This one knows psychic type moves too. But he's just so fucking weak. All right, three turn sleep. 35, cut me down to 11. This is the most annoying battle in the game. I should have just fought it off Zubat early. Die! Wii U emulation has also come a long way for every game except for Breath of the Wild. Oh yeah, good. All three Wii U games can be played. All three good Wii U games can be played. I'm happy for everyone who's into that. Oh, I looked for uh, cloth items I could buy from the shop, but I honestly didn't like the way anything looked. Like, nothing like blew me back. Hard jumps, take the eight months. Off the top of my head, I can't even think of a Wii U game I would want to play. I use the Wii more as an emulator machine than anything. There's an odd spaceman in front of the ruins. There isn't anything there. But that only seems to make him get angry. He says he will blow the town up with a bomb. The nerve of it all. If only I were younger, I'd punish that spaceman with my Pokemon. The past lives. Hey, you know what they say? They say Pokemon created in the Sinnoh region. Pokemon created the entire Sinnoh region. Oh, okay. You guys see that shit where uh Nintendo found out people who were who were modding the 3DS. They found out people who were modding the Nintendo 3DS and they sent literal Nintendo employee people to their houses to stalk them, gather information on them, and then try to intimidate them into not uh, modding anymore. That's a real thing that came out. Oh, I read this shit already. They did it during the 64 days? What? Oh, is Mesprit the legendary? I wouldn't be able to get it, I guess. Symbolizes emotion, uh, emotion, but there's also Uxie, the being of knowledge, and Azelf, the being of willpower. Three Pokemon are said to have strong, compassionate spirits. How their spirit maintain the natural balance of Sinnoh. Sister studying the mists of Sinnoh. She wants to know how people and Pokemon interact in the days. Uh, were things different back then, or are they the same as now? She says the focus for research. An old book. Okay. So yeah, basically the people at Nintendo are actual fucking lunatics, and as per usual, no one really cares. Oh good, we'll just be able to sit here and air slash these shits all day. What is that going to do the, to intimidate you? So the guy, one of the guys, they did it to a few. They came out in a document that got leaked the other day. Uh, they knew his house. They knew where he worked. Uh, they knew his relatives' names. They knew his age. And they then just showed up at his doorstep and said, Hey, we know all of this shit. You know, they probably had info that could get him fired if they wanted it or something like that. They'd probably try to flex that shit like that. Something about how the PSX dev kit gave game info as well, and possibly the 64 didn't fully remember the article about it. People who were doing the 64 hacking were scared to talk about it back then because they didn't know who was a part of Nintendo and who wasn't. Jesus. 
Tomorrow, boss. They're all blackmail. Yeah, but they're fucking, they're from a Japanese company and they were hunting a guy in Norway. Oh, I'm back at the fucking mountain. Okay. That's where I'll, I'll probably get strength after I look around in the town a bit. Speed is a ninja's best weapon. Can you keep up? Oh shit, no. Togekiss is slow. You can't do anything? Are you Fire suggesting they can't do anything about blackmail? Hey, Duck Sauce, thank you. Doma, welcome back. 41 months for Doma. You absolutely could do something about being stalked. The issue is that you would then be tied up in court battles with Nintendo, who is one of Japan's top earning companies. There's nothing, no, there's nothing illegal about modifying, uh, modifying a system unless you're redi uh, redistributing it. So, like, me hooking, me finding a way to get my, like, if I had a Pokemon Emerald copyright here, Game Boy Advance Pokemon Emerald copyright here, if I find a way to get that ROM from my game onto my computer, there's nothing illegal about that. I have modded it, I've moved it from my game to my computer, it's, that's totally legal, right? Uh, the Pokemon, for example, is a big mod. To a game that's not technically there. Um, but modifying your own stuff is entirely legal. It's distributing it that's uh, that they get you for. That's why CoolRoms.com went down, alright? It's legal for, if you own the game. It's totally legal for you to have a ROM of a game that you've bought in real life, right? 1000% legal. It is not legal for you to upload that ROM and let other people download it. That's where websites get shut down at. That's where our CNDs come out. That's where, you know, that's where people can get into legal trouble. But taking something that's owned by somebody else and then going out of your way to distribute it for free is, is where the trouble happens. What is this? A fucking birdhouse? Dragon Fang? I don't have any dragon types. Catch a dragon type to help me start for the next region. On my other account, uh, you guys on YouTube won't know this. On my other account, I beat Kanto and started Hoenn. And when I beat Kanto, I was able to get a Charmander. And then I got myself hooked up with a Larvitar. And I was able to breed a Larvitar that knew Dragon Dance. And that's what I was going to use for Hoenn. And it was going to be fucking sick. I just had to stop playing on that account. Hey, what up, Marcel? Alright, this nerd's going to want me to battle him. This town is insignificant. There is nothing of value here. It doesn't need to exist, so I'll blow it up with a galactic bomb. If you try to mess with me, I'll shut you down with a Pokemon battle. So what's it going to be? Are you going to mess with me? Dog, yes. You dare to oppose Team Galactic? That means you are taking on the world. No, the universe even. Uh, I have ancient power for this, but I'm pretty sure he beats my ass. No, I'm faster. Wow, that's surprising. Ah, let's try it. We got it! We got the boss! <laughs> this poor galactic bitch! Look at how little, look at how little damage you do. You know what, let's roll the dice. He dies on this turn. 10% odds back to back. Ah, we got it again! What the fuck? <laughs> we got it again! Oh, this Togekin. Whatever this next Pokemon is, it's fucked. Houndor, you stupid bitch. Ah, whatever. Why not? Rules don't matter. Uh, Domo, isn't that how your uncle worked at Nintendo when you happened to get the ability to play Pokemon Sword and Shield a little bit earlier than everyone else? Isn't that how that happened? Is, is that the specific instance you're talking about, or have you modded it in other ways that was also fun? No, Chester, I'm pretty sure it's 5%. I'm pretty sure Ancient Power is 5% normally, so it's 10% with Serene Grace. 
those are completely separate things, but yes. <laughs> Too much to handle. I can't do anything here. This place is nothing. I'll be happy to be rid of this place. Ah, Grandma, how you doing? Oh, you were magnificent. Aren't you quite the trainer? As the elder of Celestic Town, I give you my thanks. Oh, this is what's her face is Grandma. Oh, that old charm. May I see that, dear? What's that? You say Cynthia entrusted you with it to deliver it to me? That's Cynthia. She's my granddaughter. Did I get it three? Did it pop off at the end? I thought I just got it twice. But two times. This old charm is something to be made in Celestic Town long, long ago. It's made in honor of a mythical deity said to have created Sinnoh. The old charm is still discovered now and again. Since you're in uh, Celestic Town, why not look around inside the ruins? Yeah, I'll do that. I'll just heal up first. I just sworn it was 10% base. We can get to the bottom of this right now. You might be right. I was just assuming. So good kiss. Oh, it actually doesn't say here. I didn't realize it was special. Okay. That's really good considering that. Oh, apparently I'm way more prone to attack than defense. Oh, well. Oh, wait, no. What does my stat line look like? There we go. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot better than a special. That's what I thought. It's 10 in the regular games? Oh, okay. So maybe I'm be getting unlucky. It's also possible it's bugged because I have used Ancient Power a bunch of times and never gotten it, and then I just got it two or three times in a row right there. It's possible it might be bugged to where if you hit it once, it's locked on to where you'll hit it every time, but if you miss it, you'll never get it per battle. I suppose you don't need the Soothe Bell anymore. Say this town has been here since Sinnoh was made. Well, yeah, 20% with Serene Grace is actually huge. That's big time. That's big boy numbers. Which means I just got really, really, really unlucky earlier. Mysterious designs cover a whole section of the wall. There's three strange things forming a triangle. The middle of them is a shining sphere. What's this all about? Well, it ain't Grandma! The cave painting's meaning seems to be this. There existed beings, being so powerful they were considered to be deities at the time. There were three Pokemon with power to match their being. Three kept balance with either being, as if they formed a pyramid. There's an ancient legend of Sinnoh that is still told in Celestic Town. I would like to know more about that legend, if you will. Who the fuck? Oh, this fucking asshole. My name is Cyrus. I want to put an end to this pointless strife and hostility. I am seeking the power to create the ideal world. Thus, I want I want you to answer. The world today can't keep uh, can't change because the three Pokémon keep it in balance. Is that what you are saying? I wouldn't know. I do know the world is in balance. I'm quite satisfied with the world the way it is. I'm not interested in your question. Oh, that was the grandma saying that. Plead ignorance, William. What a pointless attitude. You fail to appreciate that the world is incomplete. I will change the world. As the first step, I will destroy this cave painting that you have protected all these years. A new legend of the world should take its place. Am I wrong? If you feel that way, challenge me. Oh, grandma's not going to do it? No, I'll do it, I guess. I know you, trainer. We met at Mount Coronet. Why would you want to protect this incomplete world? The boss of Team Galactic. As the boss of Team Galactic, I will show you the error of your ways. Oh, this is a theme. Oh, that's a level. I might be in trouble. I still outspit Honshiro, man. Does Honshiro suck? No, a lot of people like Honshiro. Uh-oh. Did we go for gold? Go for gold! I should have parahaxed him. I should have just air slashed and parahaxed. Ooh, got lucky anyway. All right. Serene Grace, don't fail me now. Yeah! Actually, uh, Ancient Power kills. Let's do that. Woo! Look at Ancient Power! Sneasel, I need you! He's gonna outspeed me, 100%. 
Yeah. Is Sneasel dark? Actually, Gandhi just shits on everything about this guy. Gandhi legitimately ruins everything this this being wants to be. Anything that this Sneasel wants to do to exist, Gandhi counters all of that. I think the crit mattered, though. Fla uh, Flame was still a really weak move. We, at, we are desperate for a new Fire-type move. Even if it's Fire Punch, Fire Punch would still be nice. He's gonna confuse Raimi or something. Oh, we critted twice in a row and got the burn. What the fuck is happening? I never get this lucky. Why do you know Brave Bird? I was expecting Wing Attack. I was expecting no fucking Brave Bird. I think he he might. No, he'll die. He'll die especially to burn. But you, you're a bitch, Cyrus. Could have switched out to Jolteon. You're gonna be a bitch your whole life, Cyrus. At least it wasn't a full restore. He still burned, which means Brave Bird won't do shit, right? Yeah, move should be Brave Bat. Yeah, Brave Bird actually won't hurt me. We're okay. Unless he crits. And by it won't hurt me, I mean fucking ow. Ah, I died of burn, stupid. I need to look up when he gets another fire type move. Uh, this battle's gonna end here. Unless he sucker punches me. Alright, if he would've sucker punched me, I would've lost it. You did! Infernape's my favorite starter. I just wish he had a fire-type move by now. Remarkable. But, Elder, your attitude told me what I needed to know. If the beginnings of time and space are brought together, they can't be stopped. Such a strange, strange man spouting such nonsense. The time and space of Sinnoh are filled with the memories and thoughts of countless people in Pokemon. This is a wonderful world. What needs, uh, what need is there to change it? Ah, uh, yeah, I found something useful. You should take this. It belonged to my granddaughter, but she doesn't use it anymore. Fuck yeah. Fire spin at 42? Okay, so I actually need to go buy a TM, which I have the money for. I can do that. Because fire spin sucks ass. Um, I need Flare Blitz. Flare Blitz at 68. That's like Pokemon League time. Um, I'm gonna look at... Oh, hey, girl! Is everything alright in there? No, dude! You saw those strange people uh, with a, a Galactic Bomb, didn't you? Those Team Galactic people, I thought they were harmless. The bizarre ways they dress and all their wild claims about... Or all their wild claims about making a new universe? I thought it was just silly talk. Nothing to take seriously, but there's surprisingly more trouble than expected. Trying to monopolize Pokemon just isn't acceptable. By the way, were the ruins fun to explore? If you're interested, there's a library in Conalave City. It's stocked with ancient books. You can look up Sinnoh history there. I hope you complete your Pokedex, too. The quickest way to Conalave City is to go west from Jubilife City. Okay. So I'm still not going up to the Snow Mountain yet, which is a bummer for me because I'm really looking forward to going to a snowy plain area. It is what it is. Was Sinnoh? No. Was Sinnoh englazed? Is that a shiny? Yo! Dude behind me got a shiny Absol, I think. Oh boy rocking a shiny Absol looks like. Was Sinnoh and Pokemon glazed? Have I actually done this region already? And I just don't remember because glaze was so long ago. I got Surf, and I'm in the next area where Heart Scales are. So, I think I go grab the TM Fire Punch or Flamethrower if it exists. Because, if I peep the Pokedex here, it wasn't? Okay. For some reason, I thought I remembered the Snowy Mountain area. Let's find us an Infernape. Alright, Infernape, learn set. What are we looking at here? Fire Spin at 42, Flare Blitz at 68. He doesn't really learn a whole lot. He can learn Acrobatics for some reason. He can learn Aerial Ace for some reason. Uh, I know Mock Punch and Close Combat. I don't really have a need for Brick Break anymore. So. Let's 
see. Blaze Kick? I don't like the 90% accuracy on this one. User launches a kick that lands a critical hit more easily and may also be the target with a burn. Okay. If the accuracy wasn't 90, that move would be really, really baller. 10% chance to burn, high crit chance, 85 power. That's all strong as hell. Fire Blast is 110. Flame Charge, no. Flamethrower, I need to look at his attack versus his special attack right now. Because I have him built as a physical attacker, but if I could pick... Uh, flamethrower would be stellar. Fire Punch is also a good fill-in. If I end up... Oh, I need a tutor for Fire Punch. Brevo Flamethrower. Okay, I could also use Heart Scales for Flamethrower, but I think it's a TM I can buy. In the town back there. Let me take a look at my Infernape stat line real quick. 93 attack, 96 special attack. So flamethrower is actually better. Let me fly back to that town. See if, uh... See if I can buy me a flamethrower. Aurora Sphere is a team in the department store? Yeah, but I don't have a lot of money. And as of right now, if I just go south and surf, there's a TM on this route. There's a TM on route 22, or not, a, there's a heart scale on route 222 and a heart scale on route 223. So I'll be able to save a lot of money by just getting the third heart scale. And then remembering, I don't remember what town the tutor's in, is the issue. Give away a Poketep app for free as a promotion. Can I give you the counter app over the counter? Would you like it? Here you go. Go forth and count. Really thought I had that already. Best city in all of Pokemon, you think? I think it's a little hard to navigate. I was always a fan of Celadon myself. I am looking for flamethrower. Hello, 30 grand. That's all my fucking money. <laughs> all right, let's get Infernape up to fucking speed here. I don't really have a reason to hang on to what's it at all. In basically every scenario ever. Ooh, drain punch. Can you learn drain punch? Wait a minute, I might do Drain Punch over Mock Punch, even though I way prefer to have the, uh... I way prefer to have the priority. Flare Blitz was there too. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait till 68. That gift was my sub-league entry. You can't do that to me, Duck Sauce. Because now I gotta open up this fucking notepad and put your name down. I will. But damn. Fury Swipes is incredibly useless right now. Yeah, there's no reason not to teach up a flame wheel here. If he can learn Drain Punch, I'm heavily inclined to... He can't learn Drain Punch, son of a bitch. Alright, never mind then. I was gonna say, I was gonna be heavily inclined to... Uh... Yeah, Tutor's in the Pokemon Center, you're right. Teach Drain Punch over Mock Punch, if I could finish my thought. Alright, now we fly. Am I here already? I'm here already. Now we just go south. Okay, let me open this notepad.
I want my bit badge back. Wait, you lost a bit badge? How you doing, Kairos? Kano's the best map. Kano being the best map is really hard to argue. I fuck with Johto's layout a lot. Hoenn can't eat a whole dick. Hoenn sucks. I actually kind of fuck with Sinnoh, too. This map's huge. Uh, but I haven't been... I haven't got to go to the Snowcap Mountain yet, which I'm dying to go to the Snow Point City. Fucking up there. And then this is the... All that shit. And then this is post-game stuff, I guess. I don't know. Every town is surrounding each other in Kanto, so it's easy access. Oh, you mean like in the... With Saffron being the central point over there? I donated a thousand bits from AdBits before they removed the feature, and for whatever reason, my badge is gone now. Like, in the settings, if you try to change your, uh... The view or whatever, it just doesn't show up. Oh, wait, I have Surf now. Um... I actually ought to change my HM person, my HM Pokemon, to... Not Zubat, but something that can learn Surf. I don't want to pick up a... I really don't want to pick up a Surf Ocarina. What settings? If you click the cogwheel, Maladux. Click the cogwheel, and then... Chat appearance. Or if you're on mobile, there should just be something... Like, when you go to type in chat, there should be something on the left hand by your name. You should just be able to click that and change your chat appearance. Alright, Quagsire can learn Surf, right? <coughs> He's also level 30. That's just not a bad 6 to have around. Yeah, Hoenn as a region is really garbage. That whole, the layout, the navigating, everything sucks. Oh yeah, that's the loser who wants to catch me, who wants me to catch every unknown. He can eat a whole dick for that. Never in my life, sir. Sinnoh might have my third favorite soundtrack. In a Pokemon game, which is basically just me saying Sinnoh has a better soundtrack than uh, Emerald, than Gen 3 does. Pokemon of the Lake won't come out of it since its people were lying in front. Wow, y'all are weird. What's up, fat guy? Stop, stop. Yes, you. Sunny Shore City, which is down this road, had a major blackout. Crews working on restoring power, but the road's closed now. Oh, where do I go? Hmm. Oh, wait, I was supposed to head west to Jubilife. Which is where I'm about to be. What's second? No, second's gen, or second's gen 1. Uh, gen 2 has uncontested the best music ever made. And then it's Gen 1. Because Gen 1's still really baller. Hell yeah. Team Rocket Battle is the best theme in Gen 2. I am really partial to the Surf theme, but... Uh, Kanto Gym Leader's theme is mega baller. I think Red shares the same theme as Lance does. I think Red and Lance share a theme. I might be wrong on that. Did they ever explain where Pokemon come from? Uh, yeah. Initially, every Pokemon had strand of Mew's DNA, so they went with the theory of evolution. But then, randomly, one day, for no reason, they decided to make Arceus, and they were like, never mind, uh, there's God now, and God made it. Which, to me, is a lot lamer. 
Where am I going? This is Pastor. I need to go west of Jubilife. Where are you? Oh, west. They need to go west. Oh, shit. Oh, we're going back. Oh, we're, we're, what we do here is go back, 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 back. My dumb ass been running around, not knowing where to go. We're going way back. Actually, let me go back to the start of town now. We're going to go up and we're going to surf over there, just to look. You made Arceus, though, didn't it? Uh, no, I don't think so. I think they basically said... The way, if, if both logics were to stand, Arceus made Mew, and then everything evolved from Mew. What up? Hey, it's that guy, Rem1117. How you doing? Yeah, if their logic were to hold solid... Oh, I can't actually surf out here. If their logic were to hold solid, Arceus would have had to have made Mew, and then every single Pokemon has to come from Mew at that point. Or Arceus makes Mew and then makes every Pokemon out of Mew. Kind of the same way that God uh, used Adam's rib to make Eve. He had to just start fucking ripping shit out of Mew to make other Pokemon. What about beating a sandwich? Alright, well, that was a letdown. I thought I'd be able to surf over there now that I had it, but you actually can't get to the water over there, so. Didn't mean to open that button. What we do here is head west, west, west. I don't even know what you do in this game. Do you have to beat all the gyms in every region? You don't have to, but that's kind of the goal. Uh, yeah, it's Kanto. They haven't worked Johto in because Johto and Kanto are kind of the same thing in Gen 2. Like, they, they cross over heavy. So it's Kanto, uh, Hoenn, Sinnoh, which is my first time playing Sinnoh, and Unova, which that'll be my first time playing Unova. But all the Pokemon are in it, minus Legendaries, because they don't want Legendaries to be busted because there's a competitive scene. Um... But yeah, all the Pokemon are in it. The, they've got everything worked out to where you can basically get... Not every Pokemon in every region. You can get a lot of Pokemon. You can trade with people. It's online. You can battle people whenever you want. Uh, the game is harder, which is a lot more fun for me because I would be steamrolling Sinnoh right now if it was, you know... If I was left to my own on a casual fucking Sinnoh run. Um, and once you hit four gyms in a region, you are allowed to hop on a boat and go to another region if you want to. You can finish that region out. You can... But after four gyms, anytime you want, you can leave and go to a different region. And then once you get to four gyms in that region, you can leave again. Does make me want to dust off my DS and play Pokemon? Naruto, hear me out. Or, you could download and play the Pokemon mode. Is there anything stopping you from that? Alright, 218 is up ahead. It's a great fishing hole that's uh, almost unknown to people. Yes, sir, an old rod is a good thing. You think so, too? Am I right? No, dude, old rods suck. But yeah, sure. We can be friends. Here you go. It's my old rod. Did I? Am I just now getting a, a rod in this game? Did I not have a super rod already? No, I was supposed to get this way earlier. But my dumbass never came over here. My Chromebook might stop me. Surely your Chromebook can run this. Surely your Chromebook can run this. Everybody's old computers can run this. And if it can't, you have a phone. Shit works on Androids. Are Nuzlocke's possible? They are, but they're difficult. When I played this game before, I played uh, Kanto region on my on my other account. And... Lance and Gary both have Pokemon that are a higher level than your level cap is. They level cap you in this game, so you can't go over a specific level until you get past a certain gym. Uh, or in my case, in Kanto, the Elite Four. My Pokemon hit uh, level caps to where they were like, the level cap was like 63 or something, but then Gary had 65 and 68s and whatnot. So you have to beat trainers that are higher level than you if you're going to go that route. Uh, it's not the easiest thing in the world, but 
I first tried it. It was rough, but I first tried it. But I also definitely blacked out or whited out, whatever. Um, in some other areas. So if I was nuzlocking, I would have lost. But nuzlocks are difficult. Nuzlocks are difficult. I wouldn't say they're impossible, but they are mad difficult. Oh, this looks weird. What up, Inkling Dragon? Chromebooks can't download things? Every file is one on the Google Drive? Wait, really? That's so shitty. I didn't realize Chromebooks were fucking awful. Outdoor fishing for the win! Who does indoor fishing? What the fuck? Those locks for a lot on RNG. I mean, the good news is that, well, it would be crazy. I would actually love to see that. I don't want to do it at all, but a fun YouTube series to watch for me would be a Nuzlocke on all four regions. Because the game's like, there are ROM hacks out there that are way harder for sure, but it's not easy. The trainer's AI is smart. No, I've heard of Revolution. I've never seen it, though. So everything you do has to be in browser. Am I getting that right, Naruto? Look up Pokemon Mo, and then you'll need all the ROMs. Yeah. You have to look up Pokemon Mo. Uh, hey, it's that guy, Ren, but then you'll need a uh, Fire Red ROM, an Emerald ROM, a Platinum ROM, uh, your choice of a Heart Gold or Soul Silver ROM if you want to do that, and then either a Black or White ROM. I don't think it's Black 2 and White 2. I think it's Black and White. It'll tell you what you need, though, on the website. I finally beat a Nuzlocke with my rules. That's only because I got a Rayquaza that carried me. I've beaten a couple randomizer Nuzlocke's, but it's just I would get a lucky Pokemon early and then... Nuzlocke... I don't play Nuzlocke's very fun because I'm extremely careful. I overlevel everything. You know, I might lose one or two Pokemon. Over the course of the whole thing. I got a weird cry. I feel like if my starter dies in a Nuzlocke, I'm quitting. That's the thing, they're gonna die in most Nuzlocke. Starters usually doesn't make it out in the Nuzlocke. I did on my own time once. I never finished it. On my own time, I was goofing around. I just decided to do a Pokemon Red Nuzlocke, like, by myself. I wasn't streaming it, I guess is what I'm trying to say. How you doing, Super Taker? Um, and I got really, really lucky. I think I picked Squirtle as my starter, I think. But I don't want to get washed at the fucking... I don't want to get washed frame one at Brock's gym. But my encounter that I got in Viridian Forest was Pikachu. And I caught it, and I was like, this is fucking sick. I got me a fucking, you know... Got my Squirtle going, I got a Pikachu here, like, I... I never ended up finishing that one. I think I made it to Surge's gym before I just forgot about it, but stuff was working out. My goal in MMO is to collect all the ice types. That's certainly a goal. Yeah, Pikachu's like a 5% encounter rate in the forest. A man of the sea is also a man of Pokemon. You're gonna have water or fire fighting, fuck. Wish Nintendo would just do something like this. If Nintendo did something like this, nobody would ever have a reason to buy a new Pokemon game ever again. Also, this requires effort, which Nintendo is also not a huge fan of. I really need to level up the boulder. 
I can't say that. Game Freak. Game Freak is not a huge fan of putting in effort anymore. So. I don't think we would get this out of them. Are there edge any legendaries in this game? Technically, yes. Uh, they've put Mewtwo in the Kanto region. The thing is, legendaries have this weird thing about them. I guess because they didn't want everybody running around with a legendary. And you can battle other trainers. So to kind of keep their tier system to kind of keep their their league in check and have make sure everybody's not just using op legendaries the whole time uh you can catch him you too he shows up once like an hour like once every hour in the cerulean cave but there's only one you two and everybody fights for him and if you catch him other trainers are allowed to challenge you other trainers can challenge you whenever you want or whenever they want to but you're allowed to decline unless you have the legendary if you have the legendary mewtwo you're not allowed to decline the challenge and if the other trainer beats you, they get the Mewtwo. The rumored release, the collection just sounds boring now. I don't want to play vanilla Gen 1. What's the rumored release? What are you talking about? I like, I think I heard of it a while ago, but I need a refresher. Mewtwo rules sound cool. It sounds cool on paper until you go to Kanto and you see in the chat corner every five seconds, Mewtwo has changed trainers. Mewtwo has changed trainers. And then after an hour of that, Mewtwo got bored and left. And then he comes back an hour later. So everyone fights over him again. But nobody ever actually makes it out with the Mewtwo. Nobody ever actually gets the Mewtwo and gets out of Cerulean Cave before they get challenged. They they just sit there and get challenged permanently. Uh, I'm going to come back here. See what's over here first. Is this the town? Oh, fuck. Jonathan, long time no see. You look puzzled. Wondering who I am? I'm Professor Rowan's assistant and Dawn's father. The professor asked that I upgrade your Pokedex, you see? So I've chosen this spot on a hunch that you passed through. Can I have your Pokedex for a moment? Let's see, was I supposed to put in the software here? Ka chunk ka chunk All done, I've upgraded your Pokedex. I should explain how it's been upgraded, shouldn't I? I it can now display images of male and female Pokemon. All right, I'll leave you to carry on with your project for the Professor. May I also ask you to keep an eye on Team Galactic? The professor's concerned about what happened in Jubilee City. Probably nothing to worry over, I'll be on my way now. You talking about when that guy tried to blow up a building with a bomb? Yeah, that's probably nothing to worry about, I guess, dude. I was going to find Sneasel. And make... Confirm the area where I could find him at. Sino, he is at the giant chasm. He is at. Oh wait, no, that's Unova. He's at uh, Lakefront, Lake Acuity, two sixteen, two sixteen, two seventeen. Snow Point Temple, Snow Point Temple. Okay. Acuity, two sixteen, two seventeen, and Snow Point Temple. Let me look on my map real quick for that. I think that's all up here where I can't exactly get to yet. I have to go through Mount Coronet to get here. 216, 217, Acuity, no point. Fuck, man, I can't get him until I get up there. And I'm pretty sure after I clear this out, I'm pretty sure next they're going to send me to Sunny Shore City and then I'll go up to Snow Point. But hopefully I get to go to Snow Point after this. No, it's my first time playing Sinnoh. I'm just doing a regular playthrough. Kind of lave city cargo port. What's up? Your clothes look damp. Maybe you took a boat to Iron Island to get a hidden machine, right? Ooh, all right. Probably where strength is. Yeah, then I'll go to Snowpoint. Oh wait, no, then I'll get to go to Snowpoint. Okay. Go to Kind of city. The Canal City. Oh, is it C Canal? Canal Avenue? Canal off? Canal of City? I'm gonna keep calling it what I've been calling it. In the old days, this port used to be a hub of cargo transportation. I'm going to heal up, and I'm going to go back out and battle those other trainers I didn't see. Heard this cool rumor. If you can get on a Nintendo Wi-Fi connection, you can go to the Wi-Fi to access the Wi-Fi plaza through the basement in any Pokemon Center. Possible for one kind of Pokemon to have different abilities. That's news to me. Can't you get Riolu here? Uh, maybe. Might be a good spot to catch one in case I want to use him in a future region. Okay, this guy's probably going to have electric type stuff or the... He had a cricket tune last time. I really got to level up Boulder, though. Let it rock! It's the rhythm of battle! Full four region play through this. I'm going to do Sinnoh, and I'm going to take a break and do a ROM hack. And then when I feel like Pokemon again, I'm going to come back, and I'm going to do another region, and then I'm going to take a break and do a ROM hack. 
Why in the fuck? I don't have a way to wake him up. Well, I mean, I have a full heal. I don't want to burn a full heal, though. <sighs> yeah, this shit... Alright, dude. You win. You win, guy. Good job. I'm proud of you. You've won today. You done good, die. I hate an encounter cricket tune. It's just the game is just designed them to be dickheads. Why does it sing? And why and a 60% accurate move, why does it always hit me? Congratulations, pal. You put my fucking Golem to sleep first turn. Couldn't just let me get my Could just let me get my defense curl shit up and rolling. Defense curl rollout combo. Cricket is the most known. I usually find anything that's weak to fire relatively easy because they usually die pretty fucking quick to fire, but. My first time really experiencing Cricket Tune, though, so. Holy fuck! Oh, they're all faster. I'm done. Streets are done. Oh, unless they all fuck up. If we roll a magnitude 10 here, the boulder will level up six times. No, we're dead. Shit! Can I just run? Eh, let's just get frying. I don't know what good these hordes are. I don't know what good these hordes are, other than unless you can just magnitude one shot them. Like if, if they're all fire types and you have surf, you can just surf one shot them. You fucking losers! Ooh, Jolteon lived. He'll die now, but you know. Imagine you're just out here enjoying life and then 12 floats will show up to beat your ass, yeah. I don't even know why I'm playing this out at this point. Didn't expect that one though, I'll tell you that much. Seeing what the wildlife had to offer over there. I don't know if hordes have a higher chance to be shiny or not. Sometimes if you you can check for updates on the TV or something, I think. It'll tell you when a lot of hordes are spawning in a certain area, and then you can go grind up there, take them out there, whatever you're trying to do. All right, what am I doing? I'm getting on a boat, and we're going to get the HM, which is probably strength. Who did you say I was again? Oh, I remember. Now I'm the move deleter. All right, good to know. Good to know, old timer. Coming up, Breeders' Choice Fitness Program. Halted after thousands of cases of cramped hands and ruined backs. Whatever the fuck that means.
This is something I found. It was mixed in with a load of cargo from another country. It's not anything I can use. You should take it. Okay. The Pokemon have their own abilities. Well, the move Skill Swap exchanges the user ability that of the target Pokemon. How you use Skill Swap as a measure of your expertise as a trainer. I'm like you'd be a fucking dickhead and Pokemon Showdown with Skill Swap if you wanted it. Somewhere far beyond the Bass Sea, there are other lands populated by Pokemon and trainers. Conduit, you're making some weird fucking comparisons right now, my guy. My Sodic is very close to me. Yeah, he's standing right next to you. That makes the return move very powerful. Go! Wrong button. Harbor Inn. The text is too faded to read. The door is tightly shut. It appears impossible to open. Egg. Oh, fuck. Whoops! Hey, Stardathy, you're gonna challenge a gym leader up past here, huh? Someone should check to see if you're ready for this challenge. That someone is me with my brand new gym badge. Look at this fucking dork. I hate Barry so much. Ooh, good lead, though. Do you think he shouldn't have an answer to Golem, right? Oh, that's an answer, I guess. Are you f It's a bird! Those are wings! With increased defense? Okay, that was actually gonna be my biggest brain- if- if Boulder lived with 1 HP, that was gonna be my biggest brain play ever. Because... I had Rollout, so Rollout would be on turn 2, and his defense had been lowered twice. Oh man, am I pissed. Um... Yeah, I'm so glad I got punched by all those wings a lot. That was not the stupidest fucking thing that's ever happened to me in a Pokemon battle before. I just want to level up Golem, man. This fucking douchey Barry comes along with his fucking wing punching Staraptor. Damn, that hurted. Please stop telling me you like Staraptor. I don't give a fuck. The Pokemon is goddamn annoying. How you doing, Playboy? Ooh, Empoleon. I open up a battle, I get fucking blindsided by a bird that knows how to throw punches with its wings. And everyone's like, yeah, I fucking love that piece of shit! It's like, dog, shut the fuck up, I'm trying to do something. Ooh, what do I do here? I gotta let Togekiss die. Unless Togekiss is too good to die. It wouldn't. Okay, I was like, it couldn't! Should be low enough now that Infernape can take him out. It didn't matter. This is where Earthquake could come in handy. 
I desperately, I know I can buy the TM. I desperately need Earthquake over Fury Swipes here. Or on, I needed Golem to still exist. If Golem didn't get punched to death by a bird somehow, uh, we would be looking good too. Um. Hmm. Yeah, if you run a fucking Staraptor with close combat and then anything else with Earthquake, I don't know what kills you. I actually would prefer if Quagsire died here. He's not a part of the team. You'd think a Jolteon T-Bolt would kill here. I could go back into close combat again with Gandhi. I went into Jolteon because I was sure Jolteon would be faster. I wasn't positive in front of him to be faster. Rapidash is quick. He should have been faster. I don't want to gamble it. Battle's actually not free. I'm not under-leveled, but stuff's tough out here. Okay, between Infernape and Gengar, we should be able to handle anything. So I'm okay with... You fucking nerd. Very upset he knows Earthquake. Uh, Infernape should be good, though. He probably ran Thick Fat. Ooh, crit kill! I went Mock Punch there because I didn't want to use Close Combat and have him not die and then have Earthquake be kill range. Suddenly, you know what I mean? I saw KFC tweet about having a console and I assumed it was a big meme. Oh, you know Shadow Ball for reasons. Ooh, got the got the special defense drop and paralyzed me. And paralyzed me again. This is tight. This is extremely tight. I love the work going on here. Yeah, yeah, you're just a bit better than me, as usual, but listen up. Let me tell you who's going to take on the Pokemon League and become champion. You guessed it, it's going to be me. Anyway, you should go to Iron Island and toughen up some more. Train on Iron Island. That's what I did before going to the gym. You know what? I just might do that. I apparently need to train up. Barry almost whooped my ass. Then again, I didn't use my strongest Pokemon, Gengar. And Golem got punched to death by a bird randomly. And has a speculated price at $2,000? Yeah, so I was right. It's a fucking meme. I was 100,000 million percent right that it's it's a meme. It'll come out. It'll be a meme. It'll be dead within a year. And everyone will remember it as that time KFC memed us all. A library? I don't know. Please keep quiet while you're on the premises. Hopefully at Iron Island, I can train up the boulder, because he needs it. Can't have a Pokemon going on and gets punched to death by birds. The books on the third floor are easy to read. The ones down here are all too tough for me to understand. Someone's always checked out the book I want to read. Sinnoh Myth. Betray not your anger, lest will come. Weep not with sorrow, or will draw near. When joy and enjoyment come natural as the very air, this is happiness. Let be such blessed by the hand of master. Those words were spoken often as customary. 
Every book contains someone's memories of various places and times. Libraries aren't just buildings where books are kept, you know. Yeah, you're a nerd. Wildstone's myth. The young man, callow and foolish in innocence, came to own a sword. With it, he smote Pokemon, which gave sustenance with carefree abandon. Those not taken as food, he discarded with no afterthought. The following year, no Pokemon appeared. Leaders grew bare. The young man seeking the missing Pokemon journeyed afar. Long did he search, and far and wide too, until one he did find. He asked, why did you hide? To which the Pokemon replied, if you bear your sword and bring harm upon us with claws and fangs, we will exact a toll. From your kind, we will take our toll, for it must be done. Done it must be, to guard ourselves, and for it I apologize. To the skies, the young man shouted his dismay, and having found the sword, I have lost so much. Gorged with power, I grew blind to Pokemon being alive. I will never fall savage again, the sword I denounce and forsake. I plead forgiveness, for I was but a fool. So saying, the young man hurled the sword into the ground, snapping it. Seeing this, the Pokemon disappeared to a place beyond seeing. 